Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk to good friends of mine that I met through the wedding industry in the midst of everything, almost like by chance where we had crossed paths and things like that. So this is called, I Do Love a Rental. So So this is Jessica and Karen. So welcome to the channel. Thank Hi. you. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. So how did you, first of all, why did you name it I Do Love a Rental? Well, we were just brainstorming and then I'm not sure what came over me. I was like, I do. I just kept thinking of like wedding like terms and Makes stuff. Sense. And I'm like, I do. And I'm like, oh, I do love a rental. It just kind of came to me and I said to Jessica, she's like, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah. And I love that part because it's, it, but also you're not just limited to weddings. Correct. Correct. All right. Yeah. So just the majority of our business is weddings. Which is good because that was originally the target of what you wanted to do. And then you started getting into, oh my God, baby showers and bridal showers. And so, right. so tell me a there little bit. more of a need. In the, yeah. How do, how did you go from renting? We're going to get to the story in one second of how you did it, mm -hmm. but what made you get from, I do love a rental for rental stuff for weddings. How did you branch out into, and what other things can you rent things for? Well, um, we started meeting with people. We have um, free consultations and some of the in-laws or mothers of the bride were coming with the bride or couple and said, what do you have for showers too? Because I need centerpieces for showers. And um, also, oh, we have the Jack and Jill. And then we're like, okay, well, people also have, it was, we started in September. So December rolled around and we're like, well, we have things for holiday parties too. Yeah. So it kind of just kind of morphed into any event, but the majority of our um, consultations are for weddings. For weddings, but baby showers, bridal showers, what else? Mm -hmm. Correct. Jack and Jill. Yeah. Jack and Jill Graduation stuff. parties, holiday parties. Yeah. Right. Birthday, um, holidays, quinceaneras, yeah. anything like that. I like that. So now let's talk about how. How did the whole concept come about? So my daughter is getting married and we started to source things and start to go on this whole journey. And it, it is a journey, um, this whole wedding thing. And I sourced some items from someone out of a local town and my daughter and I went to her apartment. She was newly married and she was trying to unload all of her stuff. We were going for one particular item. When we walked into her small apartment, she had tote boxes, floor to ceiling, and not only her living room, but all the way into her kitchen. And as we came to get what we had what we had signed up to get, she's pulling stuff out of tote boxes. Well, what about this? And I have these centerpieces. And she's basically trying to unload as much as she can on us. And I thought to myself, this is insanity. Why, why is it done this way? Why is there not a rental place? You're using these items for five hours. You know, you're, you're buying them, you're storing them before, you're storing them after, you're schlepping them. You know, this, this doesn't make any sense. And so I talked to Karen about it and I said, I have a business idea. What do you think? And she, she thought it was a good idea. And we literally jumped in four feet. And <laughs> how long and ago? We started the process in August and officially launched our business in September. Of 2022. Of 2023. 2023. 2023. Yeah. So we're like eight months old, so this nine is, months old. Yeah, now. this is like brand new. Yeah. Since then, what did you find was your greatest? So you saw the need. Yes. Which was first and foremost. How did you go about gathering what you thought brides and wedding couples were going to need? So it's evolved quite a bit. Like what we started with and what we thought we were gonna do, it's it's definitely changed, especially mm -hmm. like Karen mentioned the the bridal consultations. We're hearing what people's needs are. Mm -hmm. Every time we meet with someone, we're learn we're learning from them actually. Um, one of the first items that we created was a wedding arbor and we created it with the intention of my daughter and her fiance mm -hmm. getting married under it. And we literally hand built it, we sourced the wood. Um, my father has been a huge part of the business. <laughs> He's, yes. uh, he's, a, he's a retired electrician and he, he doesn't get a paycheck from us. We don't pay him. He's free. Um, but the three of us really just, just went to town on that piece. And that was the first thing that we created. Mm -hmm. And we do research too, like look at bridal magazines, what the trends are. Mm -hmm. um, and also, again, feedback from our couples. We've even sourced things that like, oh, we 
we have all these items that they need. They just needed that one more thing. And we're like, can we use that? Do you think the other couples are going to want that item? Is it really popular? And we would research it. And if it was, we'd go and get it so that they could rent it and mm -hmm. they wouldn't have to buy it. And we might as well buy it and, and rent to it help out. other couples yeah. in the future. We've also moved into trying to get things that are a little bit more unique and special. Um, so yeah. we're trying to source things that are fun mm -hmm. and different. Mm -hmm. um, and or that, make them ourselves. Or make yeah. them ourselves, yeah. We're really big about um, not sending things to the landfill. Mm -hmm. So we see things, and that's kind of why Jessica came to me too, because we both were DIY people, mm -hmm. and we like to refur refurbish furniture mm -hmm. and stuff like that, or take trash and mm -hmm. make it into some type yeah. of treasure yep. for our own homes or family and friends. And so we kind of use, we use that unique... Um, touch in our business too, where we create unique items too, as well. Very cool. So, what kind of things, for just for the wedding part of it, what kind of things can be rented from you? So we have um, Jessica mentioned arbor. So Arbors, we have a really okay. great arbor, um, and it's well built. It's mm -hmm. not some of these ones that you can get like off Amazon. Yes. will blow over. Yeah. Um, so in a gentle breeze. In a gentle breeze. <laughs> um, this is something that we actually deliver and set up because it is very. Solid. It's got solid. some size to it. Yeah. It's yes, solid. Yeah. It's solid. It's beautiful. Um, but we have backdrops, many different types of backdrops, mm -hmm. green walls, flower walls, just palette, like a, a wooden backdrop. Um, we have center pieces. We have, um, we have some. What kind of center pieces would you have? So we have um, like wooden lantern okay. Um, okay. type of things. Yes. We have like fishbowl um, type bubble of bowls. bubble yep. bowls. Um, we have the uh, cylinder vases. Mm -hmm. Um, and with all of that, we go even one step further and we make sure that we have battery operated candles for anything um, oh, that's interesting. Um, lantern or centerpiece mm -hmm. related. Make sure that they're all working before they go out the door, extra batteries, so that they don't have to mm -hmm. worry about that or spend that extra expense. Because mm -hmm. believe it or not, when we sourced candles, they're, they're very expensive. Okay. Um, so it's just one more added cost for a couple mm -hmm. to use for five hours. And one less thing they have to worry about. Correct. And I feel like, so what other things other than, so that the centerpieces, after the centerpieces, you see where said there was other things that you could rent yeah, also. Yeah, so we have um, mm -hmm. unique things like champagne walls. Oh, um, okay. We have uh, entry doors, some that for that like element of surprise mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. like an outdoor wedding. Mm -hmm. um, very popular um, if you're not doing it at church and have that element of surprise, um, which they also could be like a backdrop for a, um, you know, a table, a couple's, you know, yeah. sweetheart table too. Yeah. Um, but mainly that's what we, you know, we, we saw an need. entryway can be also used as a backdrop for behind the sweetheart table, Correct. behind the bride and groom. So it's a multi-purpose, multi yep. yeah, multi-purpose yeah. kind yeah, of multi thing like that. You can rent it right. once and bring it here, Correct. then have somebody else. So that's, very unique when it comes to that, so it's not just one and done. Correct. One of our really unique and maybe most popular items is our blanket bundle. And so we sourced an antique trunk and we filled it with um, with blankets and there's like 20 blankets that are included uh -huh. and it's actually we put the trunk on a wagon so it can just be rolled out to if you're getting married a lot of weddings are in fields yep. or Correct. that type of thing um, and it could so when it's a little bit cool on a, on a fall night or something yeah, it's very um, popular. and then we even have um, a hamper that we decorated so it looks very formal and wedding ish so that when the blankets are done being used by the guests um, they can return it to the hamper and then we'll we'll wash them and get them ready for the next rental the so next that's rentals. popular yeah i can i can see where especially on a fall night a lot of different venues might have a, a fireplace outside right. or there's a back patio kind of thing like that and i see a, a real mm -hmm. benefit to doing that what else do you see as far as um what i like and is you're you're always looking to see what else can be diy but here's the problem that i see with weddings and brides is they don't have the time right Correct. They don't have the time to, oh my God, I would love to do this and this and this. And then you try and get your wedding party involved with helping. And then all of a sudden you don't have the manpower to do that. And then the bride is overwhelmed with trying to get yeah. all the stuff done by herself. And I, I meet a lot of brides that are just frantic with not having enough help. What I see here is I see an outlet to have somebody else has already done it for them 
And if they like what they see, they can just rent it. Nobody right. needs to know if the bride or groom did that on their own. Right. Nobody needs to know that. What they're going to see options. is a hamper done, or Correct. they're, they're going to see the the, uh, the trunk with the with the uh, blankets inside of it. They're not going to care if it was a rental no. or anything. They're like going to feel cared for. They're going to feel like somebody thought of me. Being you, chilly at the yeah, wedding. being First chilling at the wedding. You just saved them time and headache. Yes, correct. And if you can save anybody in life itself time and headache, that's one thing. But when you can save a bride and groom on their wedding day and three months before their wedding time, that is priceless in my opinion because that last three months coming up to the wedding, it's, you know, they're in ready go mode, go mode. And if they had to worry about do yourself projects and stuff like that, they would either get done haphazardly or or they just wouldn't get done and then it wouldn't get done right. Now she's not happy. When they come to you and they sit down and have a free consultation with you, they're sitting inside of a room that has stuff that's being rented and things like that. Um, so from there, you find out if they have any baby showers, bridal showers, and other things that could be rented also. Um, but when it comes to, you guys also do deliver some things, but mm-hmm. some people can pick up their own things Correct. also and then bring them back kind of thing like that. So that's you have both right. aspects of that. Some of the bigger stuff you guys prefer to have Those delivered by yourself, which, which makes sense. But some of the smaller stuff, they pick it up at their yep. convenience, bring it to their place, and then bring right. it back kind of thing. And they like actually that. have it for three days, so they pick it up the day before the oh, event. Oh, nice. So they don't have to worry about getting it back That was morning, my next question. Less yep. stress. Yep. And then they get to um, have someone in their wedding party yep. or a family member drop it off the day after. Yep. Um, if they do need an extension or something, or like we've had some brides that were like in couples in yeah, Maine, that makes sense. Maine or Cape Cod, yep. as long as we... Um, there's not, we don't need the items back for another wedding yeah. and inventory. Yeah. We will have a discussion and, and yeah. let them use them for longer. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. We try and to work with them. Yeah, we yeah. try to work as best as we can. And I, I love the fact that both of you guys have full time jobs already. Both <laughs> of you guys are already doing so much more stuff as it is already. To take on the project of doing stuff like this, I feel like this next first year that you did already you're only eight months old and i've already been watching your social media grow from we just booked another bride we just booked another bride and just and i the more you do that the more people are going to see but what i love about it is you're saving them time and there's not a dollar you can put on any amount yeah. over time Right. So you talked about like the three months out and the and the bride's chaos and I can really relate to that. My daughter's wedding is four months out mm-hmm. and that's exactly where we are right now. <laughs> we're like the ideas are flying yeah. and we're like, how are we going to execute this and who can we get to help? We're like trying to reel people in and yeah, it's it, yeah. that is exactly. I give her oxygen so. <laughs> <laughs> when needed. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be reciprocal when yeah. my children. Exactly, get here. exactly, <laughs> and and it's I, a lot. So, okay, so how much of your rental items are in your wedding, daughter's wedding? Well, that's funny because Karen Karen keeps telling me you need to take them out of inventory. I'm like, she's not going to have anything. And I got a lot of brides in September. (laughs) We do, we do. And and I haven't taken them out of inventory yet. I'm sorry, Karen, because I don't I don't know what we're using yet. Yeah. Well, we keep having that conversation, but then we get a new we get a new a centerpiece, and I'm like, ooh, well, maybe we should use that one. Like yeah. I'm like a little child. I yeah. get excited about the next yeah. thing so much. Yeah. Now, um, is your daughter okay with you? I don't feel like you're pushing your business through the wedding thing, but I think you're trying to give a really good. You've got an opportunity to showcase what you have, not promote business in your daughter's wedding, but you've got an opportunity to showcase some very unique things in the midst of your wedding that are going to be photographed yes. by that. You get those images back, and yes, it's your daughter's wedding, but the client's gonna be like, oh my God, look at that. What is it, do you have a pretzel wall? We do. You have we pretzel, do. that was a real, that, I don't see many of them at weddings that I do. Uh, I do see a couple of champagne walls kind and of thing like that. the donut walls are big yeah, too. Yeah, and the donut walls are big too. Which we have. But yeah. I love the fact that you've got an opportunity to utilize this place to showcase something, especially something. It's one thing to have an idea and there it is up against the wall. If you want to rent that, it's another thing to have that in the uh, where your daughter's wedding's gonna be, that's a perfect place for blankets right. in time of season. Showcasing something like that, you see the blankets in use. And then when you show those, people are like, oh my God, it's gonna be, what if it's cold on that night? We better, you know. Right. So that's exactly. the most important part that I feel like is gonna be the focus for you guys is being have the opportunity to showcase things that you guys 
want to do, do it yourself. And I joke that one of her, one of my favorite posts from you is is your favorite glitter is is sawdust. I also like and the way picture. it smells. It's not, it's not mine. <laughs> it's not yours. It's not yours. So you're more of the administrator part of that. Uh, yes, we and have she our likes to call talents. Me, yeah. She calls me the user because I like she's to, a user. The, you know, the couples, yes, yes. couples come in and we 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 listen to what they. Yeah. It's important to it's same with you. Like you're not going to take a certain shot with every couple because that's not what they are looking for. You're, right. You want their vision, so we we sit with them, and that's why we prefer to have a consultation because we can talk to them, and then when we once we go through like our intake sheet. I start pulling things off the shelves. Okay, what's your what's your mm. vision for the sweetheart table? And we have a table right in our office, and I start putting it together. And they're like, "Yeah," and they're taking pictures to show, um, you know, other relatives and friends. And they're like, "Okay, yeah, that's what I want." Right. So we have all the really products listen. right there, so Karen can design it specific to whatever it is they're looking for. And everybody's design can be a little bit different, a little bit unique to them. And that's what I feed off of. I like to do that. Yeah. Um, and Jessica's really good at. <laughs> just you know, really getting into the elbow deep in yeah, sawdust. Elbow deep in sawdust, <laughs> and I'm there learning. Yeah. Um, but we, we do work it together. really she... well together because yeah. we you know complement each other. Yeah. We are both um, you know DIY, but in kind of different ways. Yeah. And one of the things that I think you know that we offer um, is that when we're meeting with someone and we're having a consultation with a couple. Sometimes, you know, there's these lists that are available and they're checkpoints and they're trying to like get everything. We go through that with them. Well, do you have a card box yet? You know, we're, we're checking yeah. things with them. So we're helping them stay organized, make sure they don't miss anything. And they might say, yeah, we, we've got one or, oh no, I never even, didn't even occur to me. I yeah. do need that. What do yeah. you have for options? Well, yeah. we have five. Let me show them to yeah. you. I, I love brides and grooms that, wedding couples that come in, 90% of the time have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> and that's okay. Because when they've I never sit, done it before. Because they've probably, never done it, right. done it before. And hopefully we'll never do it again. Right. Or they're, they've got an idea of what they want to do, but then once they figure out, oh, that's not possible to do that, then they have to kind of like rethink kind of thing. Um, but I sit down with my wedding couples and I'll do the same thing. I was like, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? And for me in my consultations, I like to bring things to the service that they didn't think of. Exactly. First of all, I would have never thought of a card box until you just said it. Yep. I see a card box at every single one. Yeah, but you're like, three days they're coming to you for centerpieces, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you're like, what about a card box? Oh my god, I didn't even think of a card box. Right. Yeah, we had a bride reach out to us recently, and um, like two days before her wedding, and she didn't have her easels. She's like, I didn't even think of it. I have signs, and I don't have any easels. Well, we've got them. Yeah. Like all of those little details. Yeah, we have it. No that, problem. You know, they might be thinking of signs and, oh, I want my welcome sign to look like yeah. this. Or I want an yeah. un unplugged ceremony sign. You got to put it on yeah. something. Like yeah. you don't want to rest it on the ground. I did a wedding one time in a beautiful etched mirror. Welcome to our, you know, wedding. It's unplugged. Put your cell phones away. Nice big gold frame. And it was on the thinnest easel of when it, they put it on there, you saw the legs like wobbling like this. It was just the right easel makes it. I would have never thought of that. It does. So signs are one thing that don't blow over. I just did a wedding last weekend and the sign kept blowing off of the easel. So having an easel there that has a clip of something like that, that's stuff that you guys would do. So anybody that sits down with you, they're gonna get a little bit of information Correct. and education at the same time. Yep. And then the bride and groom are gonna walk away and say, I never would have thought of that. Yeah, or, oh my God, right. a card box. I would have never thought of it. Easels kind of thing so what else um what else other than that and you do other things for parties and events and things like that um where do you see how do you feel like I, we already talked about having a bigger place and you're already running out of room <laughs> in your spot that you've got your inventory must be you know pretty large in a sense of having things in stock and ready to go so my next question is if somebody's going to come to you and find you, we're going to put all your information down in the description below as far as website and things like that. Can they order things from the website, meaning they want to rent easel for three days and the price is X, or do they have to do everything through a, a consultation or a phone call through you? Um, they would need to contact yeah. us too. Um, we do have a minimum of $200 rental yeah. just because we do have that. We have the, you know, even if they didn't have a consultation, we still have to be there for pickup. We still have to be there for sure. things. So it's kind of, you know, yeah. we 
discussed it and we felt like that was that's uh, fair. Fair. That's fair. Um, we don't have a time. we don't have a shop. Like we have a we have a building, but yep. we actually you know it's not like a store where we're yeah. there all the time. Correct. We Correct. Have to schedule yeah. these so things. everything is by schedule. by appointment, by appointment. only. Correct. By exactly. appointment only. And, and I and I agree with that. And I think that's very fair because not everybody's available at the same time. Yeah. So if you're off doing something over here, Jessica can still meet with that client exactly. and go through all of that and and vice yeah. versa. And we're very um, flexible. We we meet people sometimes during the day. Mm -hmm. um, in the evenings, on the weekends, um, yep. so we try to accommodate, you know, people's schedules. So huh. we understand that people have, to, you know, most people have nine to five jobs yeah. or you know seven to three. Yeah. Um, I wanted to point out one before our conversation ends. Um, you were saying about stress free and stuff, and that's like what we hear. Mm -hmm. Like we're kind of like the last people on the the checklist, mm -hmm. right? Now, oh, now I have to decorate because yeah. we've gotten the DJ. We have. Or, or band, we have the photographer, we have the venue. Um, so when they come to us, they're 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 still like in that stress mode, right? Trying to get all the things. And I think the most um, the, the comment that comes out the most at the end of our consultation, especially from the bride, but also the groom too, is, "Wow, I feel so much better now." I feel like this is great. This is, you know, it's just we help it, make their we, vision we help yeah. to make help them alleviate stress, help them with their vision, and that feels really good. Mm -hmm. um, so now that they they can just like sit back and enjoy it because sometimes you know as you're so busy you can't really enjoy the process and then it's over, right? I can remember my wedding 27 years ago and it's like oh it's over and we didn't have all these like decorations yep. and stuff 27 years ago yep. and all these extra things that people want donut walls and yep. stuff i yep. mean i think i diy'd like a little yep. ring around the hurricane yeah. that came free at the you yeah. know, delaney house yep. um so yeah it's it's really not, it's nice to hear that you feedback can't put a price that, on we're, that. Yeah. we're making people happy and that yep. was our why we started we wanted to, to be um more economical we're yep. both very frugal yep. we're like before COVID, we were massive couponers. <laughs> so we we bonded, um, and we also wanted to eliminate eliminate some of the stress, um, and that's what she was experiencing. Mm -hmm. So when we had a vision for this, we we want to help people. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. and I, I there's nothing you can't you can't put a price tag on time. No, you no. you just can't. If I can save time someplace, it's it's almost sometimes better than saving money. Coupons are great. There's no coupons for time. No, no. And if you can save your bride and groom and your wedding couple, how many countless hours of them trying to make their own item right. and or source, source it. it. <laughs> or, exactly. Yeah. And, or and, in that sense also, if they can't find time to do that, what they do and what they get from you is that's one less thing that they have to worry about. Right. And, and one less thing they have to worry about makes them feel better. Like, oh my God, and they're, they're going to drop it off. They're going to pick it up. We don't have to do this. And it's and so on and so forth. I, I think that's, it's it's win-win. Yeah. And sourcing something off of um, like Amazon, which I'm, I, I have to admit, I, Amazon's at my house every day. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, but for certain things, you know, you don't know what the quality is going to be Good too. Good point. And we also make a point to make sure that all of our items our quality items, yep. they are going to be reused, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. they need we, to hold up. Yeah. They need to hold up. Yeah. So we, you know, we've had people say, oh, you know, we'll maybe get that on our own, but then come back yeah. because yeah. they see that we have some quality items yeah. and that they can rent it probably for, you know, less or um, almost equivalent to what yeah. they were going to buy something maybe on yeah. Amazon for. I, go ahead. I'll I'll let you. Well, the other thing I was going to say is that we try to use local businesses. Yes. So one example, um, one of the products that we have are is a sign bundle, and it includes all of the signs that you might need for your wedding ceremony: the unplug sign, the welcome sign, the um, reserve table, signs, yeah, table, table numbers. numbers, all, and they're all hand built from a company, uh, Backyard Rustic Designs, which is out of Granby, Massachusetts. It's a, a couple; they hand make everything for us, and they made them in two different um, stain colors. So for somebody who wants something a little bit more barn rustic like, we have that option. And somebody who wants some, a little bit more elegant, we have that option, the same bundle. Um, so we're trying to also, you know, when Karen talks about the quality and stuff like that, it's not from Amazon. It's not, um, you know, MDF. It, they're solid wood. They're yeah. they're made very, we very love, well. So we love supporting local businesses. Right. So we're trying to go full circle. Yeah. yeah and with that specific item, like not everybody's going to have the same, Not maybe somebody doesn't mind that somebody taking photos with theirs right. they may not use the unplugged yep. but it's there if they need it yep. you can pick and choose so 
regardless of they if they use every single sign it's still going to be cheaper than making all the signs that they wanted mm -hmm. of the things that are in our sign bundle so right. we're trying to um, you know sometimes people do want something specialized we actually sent a couple recently they actually got married this past weekend and the same so they matched she, they got our signs but they wanted something else that said their names and the uh -huh. date so they could keep it so they went and back to the same company the we same said, company yep, we yeah we sent them. them to them and also with like our mirrors same type of thing like we're not going to put a na somebody's name on our mirrors because we're renting it to someone correct, else. Correct, correct. But we have somebody that we will source out so they can get it on there and we allow them to do that yep. and then we'll just take, you take, know, it, off it, take it off after. So they can remove the they're vinyl renting, before returning it. Yeah, oh, they're renting awesome. a mirror for like $25 as opposed to buying a really yeah. you know, big mirror for yeah. you know, 50 to $180. And then, yeah, yeah. and then having, so, and the person that we is, it's also local here in Holyoke and, um, yeah, so it's supporting her, and it's also um, giving our you know clients what they need. And yeah. you know what I heard in that? I heard the things that you rent can be personalized to your wedding, mm -hmm. and then when they get back to us, yes. we just because not everybody's name is you know Allison and Daniel. So Correct. it's one of those yeah. things in life that you just gotta yeah. you know you have to adjust for that. But you have a pivot for that. I love the mm -hmm. fact that you have an yeah. option for if you don't want just a general welcome to our wedding and welcome yeah. to so and so and so and so's wedding. Option. And that was a new pivot. Like you're saying, we're, we're always yep. evolving. Yep. Yep. That's something new. We actually had someone ask yep. and we're like, yeah, we could, we could do that. Let us reach out to someone yep. we know that does quality work yep. and see if they're willing to do it. And now we have a partnership with a local business That's that awesome. will do that exactly. and we'll give her The only thing I, I also see that the fact that, you, yes, you can rent some items. Um, and going back to the time thing again, you, you also just if a bride and a wedding couple is going to rent something or I see, I see, I see the wedding couples side. I want to buy something and make it myself so that I can have it forever. When you rent something, you turn it back in. Right. Correct. I get that. The benefit of renting something is you rent what you want, get it personalized however you want, turn it back into them. And the wedding couple that decides that they want to have something that they can have forever, how often are you going to use that one item? So you might have saved fifty dollars by not renting something and just you know turning it back over to the people, and now you don't have anything anymore. But now you've got this item that how often are you ever going to use that again? What are you going to use it for? Whether it's bistro lights or you know you're going to rent them instead of buy them. So I get both sides of that. But again, when you get everything that they're going to buy and bring in, they still have to put it together. So if they have the time to do that and the gumption, that's great. Yeah. That's great. But for the people that don't and they want to see what other options that are out there, especially when it comes to centerpieces and so on and so forth, and then you turn them back in. This is something that I, you know, I've been doing wedding for 17 years now, that now that you start seeing this do it years, I've always seen the DUI stuff from oh, the yeah. brides and grooms, and they're very prideful of what they've done. Absolutely. And then in the next breath, they're like, oh my God, that was so much work. That was so much time. Yes. The one thing that I see here is now they can get their time back. Before that wedding, that three they months, can still enjoy that it. three, they can have that time to not have to worry about spending hours and hours in the basement making, doing, whatever, everything else like that. We'll yes, we'll spend it. <laughs> we'll spend the hours making and, it. No. And, and that's that's your job. That's, that's your that's niche. Job. And I, we I, always I, have projects going. Like yeah. Multiple. Maybe, I'm sure maybe you do. Too many. Too many. <laughs> Sometimes Jess likes to work on multiple things. Yes, and, and I can like, see that about her. Done? How come this isn't done? I'm like, oh, let's let's you pri started prioritize. The last one. Okay, right, this right, one. <laughs> right. I this understand. One first. That. This she like, helps me it's focus. Okay, but that's you know, I you know, there's plenty of things she has to like wind sure, me in sure. and say, okay, yeah. <laughs> so what else so. can you guys tell me about the the business out of South Hadley uh, mm -hmm. by appointment only? Um, website's going to be in the description below. So what else can you guys tell me about the? Uh, we are, all of us are gonna be at the New England Bridal Show, Absolutely. Fall Bridal Show, the 20 year anniversary, that's coming up November 3rd, yep. 2024 at the Mass Mutual Center. You guys have we'll a 20 there. foot by 20 foot, which we was do. packed yes. last time. And we were, we were, we new. were busy. We were, we were busy <laughs> Very, and it was really, um, it was, it was, it was, amazing because we didn't it was know your how first we, one yes we didn't know we, we, we were we two received, months old we were two months old yep. and um we received very well and um that 
made us think, yeah, there really is. We're on track. There, yeah. We're on track. 100%. There really is a need in this 100%. area for this. Yeah. And the first time, I believe it was the first time I met you, you guys were doing, was it the open house that was at the patio? Yes. Yeah, we had was a that for the party. business launch party? That's what yes, it was. Yes, we had it for our family and friends. And yes. We invited some yes. local um, wedding professionals, professionals. like yourself. Yes. And who showed up? Only you. We did. <laughs> the only one. We invited yes. about 15 people, 15 different wedding and professionals. And here we are. Um, and we are having an open house um, yeah. actually at for the our, community. Yeah, at our July. shop. July 25th. Oh, excellent. Um, and every uh, everyone will be invited again. Customers, friends, family, wedding professionals. Come Is see it on the we weekend? It's actually Thursday. a Thursday night. Thursday evening. Yep. All right. I don't have a wedding. So as long, yeah, well, that's, as, long as I don't have a wedding. Yeah. And it's, I'm, you know, I'm stop in. by for five minutes or spend the two hours yeah. there. Um, but we'll have all of our products. You can walk through the shop, see where we're working out of, see the projects that we have done, but also what we might have brewing because we always have. So you need to start promoting that on your social media yes. that you've got that date so people yes. can put that we're finalize that date yeah. like because we're doing our ribbon cutting ago. is it yeah it's yeah. gonna be our business and i didn't know cutting. that either and yeah. i wanted to mention mm -hmm. the launch party because yeah me as a wedding photographer i walked into the launch party i didn't know anybody and i think yes long story short you and i knew each other 23 years ago uh and then we knew somebody else that were but connected we to us but time. we didn't know that at the time <laughs> so um, i walk into this patio uh what's it called one port it was just one more at just the one more house in south at the boat house in south hadley yep. so i walked inside of there i saw all the stuff lined up and stuff like that and i knew this was an open invitation to all the wedding but and i'm looking for any of my friends and stuff like that and i'm looking at the pretzel wall i'm looking at the donut wall and i'm looking at the ladder that you had, you had an old antique rustic ladder, wooden ladder, and it had a wood on the front of it. So it was open like an A-frame and the wood was on the front of it. And you had your daughter's pictures in picture frames all the way down the front of it. And I was like, that's unique. And yes. I'm looking at all yeah. this stuff and then I found out who it's you one were. One of the things we made. Yeah, yeah. and I, I introduced myself to you and yeah. you knew who I was and stuff like that. Yeah. So that was like the first time that whole interaction. I took your cards right away. They're in my studio to pass out to brides and grooms. Um, and I knew that there was a, definitely a need and a niche for something like this. And here you are eight months later, yes. still in the yes. first year of this whole process and still you know, catapulting yourselves forward when it comes to that. And I, I, I feel like you're, you're gonna need a bigger space. And I know that yes. there comes with an expense. <laughs> and more time. And, and like you said, time is precious. So I, um, I am actually stepping back a little bit more from my full-time job because we are getting busy and I, we, I want to make sure that we have these items yeah. and everything available and that we're available for, for clients. So it was, um, it's, it's just, yeah. It, it's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah. Yes. And we it's have exciting. so many and things. And we're at the same so, time. So, oh, yeah. So, yeah. so soon. Yeah. We thought, well, it'll evolve. Like in, in three maybe years. Maybe a few years. Yep. You know, yeah. any new business. Yep. But that's when we, it was that bridal show, really, when we saw how many people were in our booth. And then just wedding professionals like yourself, um, we already knew you. And we, we knew that you were very supportive of our business and knew that there was a need in mm -hmm. this area. But also the wedding professionals that were also at the expo, when they had a minute, they yep. made a point to stop by and yep. say, thank goodness, because everybody's always asking us yeah. for things like this. You know, where do I source a green wall? Where yep. can I get, is there a rental company? And they always yep. had to say, no, there's not one you can get everything at. And now we can. Yeah. So everybody was like, we. I think we ran out of cards just from the <laughs> wedding yeah. professionals yeah. Um, that day because they wanted to um, be able to refer their their guests and feel good because you you like the probably the fact that you can refer them oh yes. you need a great cake yeah here's you so know a couple so. cards yeah. right yeah. so you're helping them you're yeah. making them taking the stress off yeah. right and um taking the time of researching yeah. he's been in the business for 17 years he knows what cakes are yeah. good and which ones are dry yeah. and which ones stay away from they're not going to yeah. show up on time yeah. you know yeah. type yeah. of thing so um, yeah, so it was very humbling yeah. um, to know that, you know, people accepted us in this mm -hmm. community, um, especially you, Ron, yeah. <laughs> um, and then you introduced us to other people yeah. that are really have been great and welcoming to I us. I feel like the door was opened up to you, and I, I feel like the, the next words I'm going to say is a very generic and generalized phrase, but I feel like the best way to describe what you do is it's almost like a one-stop shop for rentals, yep. arbors, centerpieces, blankets, everything in between as far as events and things like that also, but we're talking about weddings and stuff like that. And I feel like that's where the bride is gonna see value in what you do and how you do it and see the value in the ease of. Right, yeah. 
yeah. seeing things that are on your website, you go there, have a consultation, and make an appointment, and come and sit down with you guys. And then, as you said, what is your, what is your? I love the fact. What is your? What do you think your front, your your center, t your tables are going to look like? And you start throwing things together like this. Well, what about this? Yeah. That's exactly what yeah. they want. Or they show us our their vision board, and we people, we're like, okay, yeah, we, we have these. We can fit yeah. that. We can yeah. match that. Um, people you know, need that. We can yeah. make that happen. And we, you know, we have nine out of ten things here. That's still going to eliminate a lot of stress. One hundred percent. Have to source one thing instead yeah. of yeah. ten. Yeah. Um. So and pull it together, yeah. and then you know we can you can stop by and bring that one item, yeah. and we can put that in, and you can take a look and see how it looks. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I do, and I don't know if you guys rent something like this or not is a lot of times my uh, wedding couples will use their engagement pictures as a centerpiece. So they'll print up a four by six of the picture, one of the pictures from their engagement center, and it's a round piece in the center, whether they have flowers in it, they have got a stem sticking up, and they got one four by six picture of them in, in the middle of that. Um, is that something that is, that is doable that you guys can incorporate engagement picture of some sort to a centerpiece? Is that something? Yeah, I've really I've heard of um, even couples doing something like at table one. This is us when we were one. Oh, that's doing, awesome! You know, I didn't even think of that. I've yeah, never seen at, that. At, yeah. Here's us at, at ten years old. That's you know, awesome. That type of thing. Um, so definitely, yeah, I mean, and we, we have things that that we have, um, you know, things almost like hold propping table them numbers up. Yeah, that absolutely. Can hold photos yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, so some people do that, and they have like a card with the photo, and they we do have the, you know, the the stem stands, of some form. Yeah. Stems, yeah. And know. we're happy to create. Like I, oh, yeah. I don't want to give oh, any spoilers here, but <laughs> we have some things in queue uh -huh. that are that are just gonna blow you away. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, the, the things we're making. Yeah, yeah. things that'll that, be unique. So yeah. You can't get them anywhere else. Yeah, so. you're not gonna find them at, at Hobby Lobby. You're not gonna find them on Amazon. Yeah, um, and if you do, you'll find all the pieces from all of those other places, but they still gotta put it together. Yeah, correct. That's the part I feel like is going to be the win-win for you, is you're saving them time. Yep. Let them come with their vision, show as much as you possibly can with it. They only have to outsource one thing instead of seven things. You just mm -hmm. save them so much time to me and when it comes to weddings it's the most of that last three months that last three months is just getting everything ready lining yep. things put things by the back door this has got to go here you do your tour you do your finalizations do all and all of a sudden you know oh my god i still got to go home and make all of my flowers i have heard stories of brides oh, yes. still putting their flowers together the night before their wedding, mm -hmm. and they're still putting them inside of there, kind of thing like that. And well, we have high quality, like non-real um, <laughs> fake flowers. Yeah. So yeah, like, like links, like yeah. really, really nice, high quality. I um, that they can write. But they're not done by night before. <laughs> and they're not done the night before. No. They just pick them the, they'll oh, pick the day up their before. They'll pick up their tote box. <laughs> they just, we, we help them load them in the car. Yep. And that's it. They that's can sleep perfect. the night before. And then three days later, they bring them back. Yep. Correct. That's perfect. That's perfect. So is there anything else you guys want to talk about as far as the business? we got a uh, launch party coming up in July. July uh, we're going to be at the bridal show, the 20-year anniversary of the fall bridal show, November 3rd, 2024, yep. at Mutual the Mass Center. Mutual Center yep. in Springfield. So you guys are going to be there. I'm going to be there. So hopefully people are looking for wedding couples, they can come out and see us inside of there. So Definitely. anything else about the business? I don't think so. That was Thank a lot. You. Thank that you for lot. having us. Yeah, we had a lot of great questions. My yeah. pleasure. That's, <laughs> that's what conversations are all about. It's just getting to know you. I knew 90% of this anyways, yeah. but I wanted you guys to say it so the rest of the people Whoops. can say it and see it and so on and so forth. So other than that, um, thank you guys for coming to sitting down with me and having a conversation with me. I can't wait to see what the future brings for you guys. And if this has only been eight yeah. months, wait, I can't wait to see where you are in three years. Can't wait to see where you are in three oh, years. We have, we have big plans. Yeah. So is my husband it. includes a box truck. Yeah. <laughs> He's already hunting for one. I had told you about that other one over there. I know. I'll have to check on that. I know. All right. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. So this is I Do Love a Rental out of South Hadley, Massachusetts. All of their information is going to be down below in the description so that you can go and check them out on their website by appointment only, go see what they have to offer and see what they can create for you when it comes to your wedding day. So if you've got an idea, they can put it and bring it to life. So that's the part that I like about it. So thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Peace. Thank you.